بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm very pleased to be with you in this event uh, and in this conference, which is uh, uh, devoted to discuss very important issue indeed, which is collaboration and uh, peace uh, and unity in the contemporary time due the cultural uh, diplomacy. Um, I do Islamic law, uh, and I graduated from the United Kingdom 2002. And um, as far as uh, cultural diplomacy is concerned, I'm a Fulbrighter, so I have, uh, I've been obtained the Fulbright Scholarship twice. And thanks for the Department of State in the United States that offered me and many others uh, this chance of uh, communication. and. Uh, and each time I share my brothers and sisters of the human community from the different backgrounds and experience of meeting, I learn a lot from them. And I uh, see how much we are close to each other and uh, how, how much we have uh, many shared things more uh, than uh, any other uh, negative things. So uh, cooperation and unity and peace are the reasons for development that we should all seek uh, firmly uh, in all over the world. Uh, history proved that uh, war cause bloodshed and disorder. Uh, unity and exchange cause more development, more development and uh, peaceful living with diversity for everyone in the different communities. So uh, that's why I'm here, and I'm very glad to be with you. Um, I will talk to you about a very important issue, indeed, in my view at least, which is uh, a man message. Uh, this message is declared by, by His Majesty King uh, Abdullah II of Jordan in 2002. Uh, as a reflection of 9-11 uh, and uh, terrorism and uh, uh, the negative uh, maybe attitude that is given by some radical people who uh, misunderstood Islam or abused the understanding of Islam. And uh, then after that, they harmed many people in the world without distinguishing between people. So they are just like behaving in an enemy behavior against everyone. So um, as a reflection of that, uh, King Abdullah II make this initiative to clarify the concept of Islam as a peaceful religion and a way of community with others um, through cooperation, uh, peace, and uh, deep love. Um, he gathered a group of dis distinguished uh, scholars, and they make a conference, and they wrote this message. And then after that, he spread it through all over the world, I mean the Muslim world, in um, an attempt to uh, being signed by the majority of the scholars. The vast majority of the scholars ha have signed it, at least 500 famous, very famous uh, religious uh, leaders, uh, uh, politi political leaders, uh, diplomats, uh, and uh, religious uh, people from the different sects have signed this message. So uh, the importance of this message is that it's like a consensus between Muslims about the Islamic concepts about Islam, the relationship with others, um, the issue of uh, peace and war, uh, the stand view uh, of uh, terrorism uh, and how to cooperate with the uh, international community in the world. Uh, uh, His Majesty the King Abdullah II has uh, more than one initiative in this concern. Amma message nowadays is uh, a cultural uh, dipl diplomacy because it's actually spread in all over the world in many means and it's uh, uh, a floor for discussion as well. So it opens the floor for discussion about the peaceful uh, interpretation of Islam that has a consensus by all of these uh, scholars that come from the eight different sects of Islam. 
just uh, to give you a brief about a uh, message, not to take your time at the end of the day, and thank you for uh, uh, joining me. Uh, the Hamma message started by uh, justifying the message itself by saying that Muslims are uh, a nation of 1.2 billion people at least, and they are spread in all over the world. They share the human uh, community, uh, the, 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 the present and the future. So they should be effective and they should be positive. They should not be rejected and they should not be negative. So uh, for these reasons and in reflection to the terrorists' attacks and behaviors, uh, we have adapted this message. Uh, the real Islam is uh, peace, because the word Islam means peace, and it means to make uh, submission to God the Almighty and to discipline the inside of the man by the rituals. And also it aims to make civilization and to spread it for all mankind without being uh, just uh, monopolized by a certain group of people. This uh, faith and religion is based on uh, justice, uh, achieving security, giving the rights of people, respecting the other religions as well. Uh, tolerance between religion is very crucial. So all the religions share the same principles, the main principles. So the essence of the religions are the same. Islam is completion for Judaism and Christianity in terms of the message of God and revelation according to our belief. We do believe with the, the uh, originality of uh, those uh, two religions. Uh, so we can't deny the prophets of these uh, religions. Uh, otherwise, uh, that's against the principles of Islam. Uh, also, we believe that religions in general are to serve the human community and to protect the dignity of mankind. So the preaching to religion in general should be by good word and by debate, not by force, not by violence, not by any negative approach at all. Any negative approach is, is totally refused, whether, whether it's from the Islamic religion or uh, any other uh, religion. Um, a message clarifies the objective of uh, the message of Islam, and it says that God the Almighty in the Holy Quran, which is the main book for uh, Islam, says that I have sent you, Prophet Muhammad, only to be mercy for all mankind. So mercy for all mankind is the essence of Islam, and that's why uh, this message has been sent. That means uh, tolerance, justice, and forgiveness should be the basic uh, behavior and uh, foundation for the people who uh, believe in this message and uh, religion. That requires all also to respect the international conventions and uh, law and uh, to follow the UN uh, uh, decisions and the uh, international uh, agreements and respect the, the international community's uh, uh, outcomes to be part of the human uh, community in their decisions uh, and also uh, to share with the protection of the life of people and to protect the civilians and to avoid any means of corruption, uh, being against corruption in everything, including the things that uh, tackles security. Uh, the foundation of Islam, according to the text of Islam, are related to balance, moderation, uh, justice, uh, and uh, mercy. Therefore, easing things for, for people is very important. And also uh, the civilized role of Islam should be uh, revised again in the contemporary world. So uh, there is a call for the Muslim thinkers uh, to share the experience with the others in the world and to learn from them and to expand their knowledge and to make uh, contemporary cooperation with the others uh, in the different fields of uh, study, including the, intell the intellectual issues 
to make economic, political, and social growth for everyone in the world. Uh, ethics is, is, is very important. So it's the core of Islam. Every single rule in Islam um, is peace by itself and leads to an ethical issue. Therefore, the means doesn't uh, justify the aim. And uh, from here, my message comes to the issue of peace, and uh, it declares terrorism to be totally rejected, any intolerant behavior totally rejected, and uh, it, it condemns everything that has happened from some radical people who have abused the interpretation of the text or cut the text out of the context. And then after that, they justify their crimes to themselves by religious background. And it says that uh, there is no way uh, with Islam to have any sort of uh, unjust uh, uh, terrorism and uh, behavior uh, that, that is based on violence. So again, it, it says that we should go back and respect the international com community and uh, the international law and uh, give the rights to, to everyone and to uh, avoid any sort of offense uh, for any person in the world. Um, Amma message emphasizes again and again that the Muslim world should uh, be part of the human community and it should renew uh, the thinking to do so. Therefore, they should uh, revise their way of education and uh, uh, the academic research. They should benefit more from the technology uh, and communication, make more cultural exchange with all the people in the world to make a more civilized project which is suitable for them and for the human community uh, in general. There is uh, a specific care about the human rights in the Amma message. So there is a standpoint for that, and it says that uh, we should protect the life of the man, the dignity, the security, the basic elements for the individuals and communities. And we should uh, administrate the societies according to justice and consultation. So the meanings and essence of democracy should be emphasized and should be the background for the communities in the world and in our world in specific. Um, we should also learn from the human uh, brothers in their communities, their ways and uh, means for uh, materializing and achieving democracy practically in the contemporary time. Uh, at the end, there is a, a speech which is directed to the scholars, the Muslim scholars, that they should uh, be models for the others by tolerance, by moderation, by calling to the good and not to the evilness at all, by clarifying the essence of Islam to the people so that the Muslim community be more tolerant and more and um, teaching people to deal with things by wisdom and moderation, not by violence and revenge or hatred. And they should uh, revise their way uh, of tackling uh, the things according to the requirements of this century in the view of the fact that we are part of uh, a human community which is one uh, and unique. So it ends with unity and it calls um, not to diverse, not to uh, split with, with, the, with the others and with, not to, to challenge also uh, as one community inside the Muslim world as well. Um, I hope um, this illustration uh, is clear to you and uh, beneficial as well. And um, I can conclude out of that um, that uh, uh, the message of Amman is cultural diplomacy, and it clarifies the consensus of the Muslims, which is that our religion and our culture is based on peace, and those minority of terrorists don't represent the majority, 
and uh, we are part of the human community and we are willing to learn more and to cooperate more and to provide more as well. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much for a nice presentation. Thank you. Uh, as I know, the position of Jordanian is always perfect uh, against the issues in the world. I remember Malik Hussain, the father of King Malik Abdullah. His position was also good for the issues which was happening on that time. I loved him. Thank you. And also, I respect Malik Abdullah. But I'm, as a Muslim, I can tell you, you are Arab, and I'm Afghan, I'm not Arab. In Quran, there is saying that, this means you have to come together and don't differentiate and don't split the different group. But now, as we see in the Islamic world, there is a lot of groups. Since the beginning of Islam, the Shia, the Sunni, the Hambas, the Maliki, all these groups are different understanding of Islam. So this is the most biggest issue of Islam. And I'm complaining, and I'm suggesting why, since 1400 years, Islam has not succeeded to solve their problem among themselves. Now, if you look, every terrorist route is reached to Islam and all over the world. Everywhere. If you see a, a, a single terrorist event, the route come to an Islamic country or to Muslims. My suggestion is why we are not able to define or to, you know, to, to solve our problem among ourselves in the state of separating in different uh, groups. Like you see, what you said in your presentation, I'm 100% agree with you. But this is difference what the other Islamic group says. So in this case, who is right? You are right on those who are killing people, who, was, who are sacrificing the children, the people, who, was, who are selling the women, who keep slaves, who keeps women as a queen. This is all documented in the media. So now we are different, uh, we have different understanding. Salafis, Wahhabis, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, Taliban, who is right? One is killing only not to have the beer. The other says, beer is not important. You can live with beer or you can live without beer. But if you face a fundamental Islam, he says, no, if you don't have the beer, you have to be killed. What is the real interpretation of Islam? Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, in my view, uh, my message is made for, for the answer of your question, that it gathers the top um, scholars of the eight sects, they all signed it, Shia, Sunni, Ibadi, Zaiti, all of them, they signed it, and they agreed on it. And then after that, it was opened to more signatures. So no, uh, I mean, disagreement about it. And um, Amman message by itself has a lot, because it defines Islam 
as something that requires civilization and cooperation to others, human rights, international law, international conventions, uh, all, all, all the things that uh, you, you would like to, to, to have. And there is a consensus on it. Now, for the radical people who do all of these terrorist things, how, uh, how, how many are they are? How many people in the Muslim world uh, behave like that? And if we go before um, 1990, how many people we used to have as uh, tough like this? Maybe zero or few people. So uh, as a reaction of uh, some wrong interpretations, some maybe frustrations, maybe uh, the, some psychological problems, in my view, I refer all crime in general to psychology. And uh, I define terrorism as part of crime, as a science of crime, in my view, you see. And I have evidence for that. Because, for example, if we are frustrated or oppressed, who of us uh, think even to kill? All of us. I don't think one of us will, will even think about it. You see, although we come from different cultures and backgrounds. Why? Because we are stable enough psychologically. But if someone of us uh, has some problem in psychology, so th there is a gap, a huge gap. And that gap needs a huge reaction so that it could be fulfilled. And the huge uh, reaction is, is something violent, uh, I mean, tough like terrorism. So um, these people are very limited. Um, in my view, they have uh, made horrible things. That's why they have been spread in media and many other uh, means. But uh, at the end of the day, they are not uh, even a percentage. I can't talk about percentage. All of them maybe not l not more than thousands out of uh, one sixth of the world, you see. And uh, this culture is fought. Amma message and all of the thinkers, all of the educators are educating the children uh, that we should think according to what we have in the text, not according to what uh, we see of the uh, people um, like uh, these radical people. Don't copy them, don't, don't imitate, because imitation. Now, if you go, for example, to ISIS, ISIS, not less than 80% of them, they just uh, copy uh, the leader. They are frustrated people, poor. They don't know anything. Some people take them, convince them with some ideas, give them some money, uh, say to them something that, which is uh, for youth interesting, and pick them and take it, took them to Syria. At least 80% were cheated like that. So the people who have the radical uh, thinking are very limited. Now, I'm not defending Muslims, but if you go to history, if you go to the world, you will find radical people in all over the world. Take the, the criminal people, crime. C crime is, is radical as well, you see. These people fight against their societies in different ways, in harassment, in raping, in killing, in murder, and many other things. So they are ter like, ter like terrorists, another type of crime, you see. So can we say, for example, for a civilized society that has uh, crime that uh, they have serious problem? I don't think so. They should work better, but uh, uh, these people don't really um, uh, represent Islam. Islam has created civilization for 14th century that used to be open to everyone in the world and good shelter for the minorities, you see, who were offended and killed severely in many places. They used to escape to be under the shelter of the tolerance of the Islamic civilization. Also about knowledge, the Islamic universities were the affairs in the world. They cr created the concept of university, and it used to be open to everyone, not just to the Muslims. And the non-Muslims shared the knowledge. They used to be uh, uh, under the concept of Islamic nation and civilization. So the Islamic civilization is not Muslim purely. It's multicultural under the umbrella of Islam. So if we study Islam, the history of Islam, the intention of Muslims, you see, the official uh, decisions of the diplomats and the politicians in the Islamic world, it's all positive. Uh, now for the sects, for the sects and diversity, in, in my view, diversity is good. It's available in all over, over the world. Uh, you have parties in, in the most civilized uh, places. If not radical, if not violent, why not give the people freedom of having their opinions? You see? But for the radical people who kill, 
who offend who uh, sell people who offend babies and so forth uh, as you illustrated uh, I don't think anyone in the world uh, neither Muslims nor anyone will, will, will accept it you see thank you another event uh, we had uh, that April in Stockholm the first terrorist act that killed people and so and the terrorist was uh, one man alone he had fabricated a bomb from the internet and so on and now he is under release they are checking him it appears that he had no knowledge of Islam mm -hmm. he's from uh, Central Asia Thank you. Uh, actually, about uh, the radicals, you are right. Most of them, they are not educated. None of the radicals uh, went to the faculty of Sharia or studied Islamic studies, you see. Uh, most of them, uh, excuse me to mention, just these are statistics and research, uh, like engineers or something like that. I'm not indicating certain people, but uh, they are good thinker, but uh, uh, they are not uh, related to religion. Then after that, they start uh, read the religion alone without any master of religion or, I mean, uh, as a, a scholar who is uh, uh, allowed to teach religion, you see. So the faculties of Sharia teach moderation in history. Yes, many of the rules that they teach are not suitable for others, for many others in the world. But still, they teach moderation and ethics, and uh, they don't teach any violence at all. That's why some some uh, research um, believe that spreading the faculties of Sharia teach Muslims more moderation and keep the security, which is positive. Um, 
cancelling them because there is another approach that we should fight against the study of Islam. If, if we fight against the study of Islam, there will be like black market for the study of Islam. Anyone read five, six, seven books, and then after that declare himself to be scholar, and then make groups and spread his own interpretation. But the academic way of teaching and studying Islam is peaceful for all of us. You see the point? Um, I know stories of many terrorists in the prison because sometimes uh, uh, the Muslim scholars are brought to debate with them so that they might be convinced. Um, uh, these people are just for grade, for grade in school only. And some of them truck drivers, uh, manual labor or something like that. But they are clever, by the way. They are all clever. Uh, they start to read alone and then they get some knowledge according to the thing that they have psychologically and they cover themselves by religion to justify it to the people and to have followers as well actually um, that could be happening in all over the world for example uh, now not to talk about religion uh, let's talk about law law in consensus in the world is made for justice and all of the people respect law but law is abused by many lawyers, and I, I, don't, I don't generalize, but many lawyers in all over the world pick the text, change the interpretation, and then after that form, formulate it in a way that they corner the, the judge, and the judge knows that this is not just, and he judges with it. Why? Because he is cornered. By who? By the lawyers. Why? Because they are very clever. What they did, they picked the text of the law, cut something out of the context, formulate it in a good way, and corner the judge and get something against justice by the means of justice, which is law. So they abused law by law. The same thing terrorists do. So this example happened in law and religion in many other applications, you see. It doesn't represent uh, everyone. Yeah, I can't say that law is wrong now, because sometimes it's abused. I can't say uh, Muslims, for example, uh, something negative because these terrorists, you see. The, th the best thing to do is uh, education, actually, and the mul multicultural uh, communication and exchange. That will, 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 will tackle the problem. Uh, I think nowadays, uh, in my view, the awareness is better, and the future is, is to, 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 to the better in the, ter the terrorist uh, behaviors and uh, radical thinking. I'm optimistic in this concern. Actually, um, media may be uh, a bit um, uh, not so positive to Islam because, uh, for example, when I mentioned that Islam had uh, 14th century civilization, all the people surprised. Uh, has that happened? Uh, when I say, for example, um, that uh, the Islamic civilization used to be sheltered for everyone and the human rights uh, declared before 14 centuries by Islam. Uh, many people find it very strange, you see. So media don't help so much in this concern. I don't know why, really. Um, also, Muslim media is very backward. Uh, you know that Muslim world is um, developing and very um, backward 
comparing to the first world and the, the developed countries. And our media, is, if you see it, you will surprise. It's very weak, you see. So they can't even represent uh, Islam. That's why, for example, Amman message was an attempt to uh, declare the essence of Islam by debate. By debate. And it's in the Quran as, as well that the best way to preach to the people and to tell about the essence of uh, the revelation of your Lord is to debate with people, not to force them. Just to tell them and debate with them and have a dialogue, dialogue about uh, the, the issue, you see. Um, but um, there is a problem really because Muslims in the world, to be honest with you, and open, feel offended and feel that it's unfair treatment, you see. Uh, they feel that they have not been given uh, the chance to express themselves, to um, to be known. Um, there is lack of study of their uh, culture and history. Uh, almost no one knows about uh, their civilization. And the, the fact that this civilization that we live now is based on the Muslim civilization because Muslims ruled Spain, uh, the southern Spain, for uh, 800 years. Uh, pardon? And uh, maths, the, z the zero was created by Muslims. And you know the computer system now is zero, one, zero, one, everything. So the basic element of all of the civilization that we have refers to the zero, which is created by Muslims before in history. And many, many things. The trial and error uh, method of research was experienced uh, by Muslims at the beginning. And I told you that it was not the Muslims only. Jews, for example, and Christians used to be a very basic element in the Islamic civilization. Jews should be sharing under the umbrella of the Islamic civilization. So why all of these things are not known? Um, we wish that there are means to explore uh, our um, and display our culture and uh, civilization, and also Islam it's, uh, itself to be illustrated to people. But uh, I don't know why media don't help in this concern. Uh, when I watch media, I find it illustrate all over the world and their cultures and the history, uh, even for strange things like myth, like uh, magic, like um, all things. But when it comes to the Islamic civilization, although Muslims are one sixth of, of the world, you see, and uh, they cooperate with the others in all over the world. You have 15 million at least in the Western Europe, uh, at least the same number in the United States. Uh, they have many um, contributions, but um, their culture, civilization, and history uh, is not known at all. But anyways, um, it will be better in the future, inshallah. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Thank you again very much. Bye -bye.